Hi there, it's Susie Iverson, otherwise known as Susie Q Scraps, here with another quick tip. I'm going to show you how you can adjust the line spacing of your text, also known as letting, L-E-A-D-I-N-G, so that you can get it to match the lines on, say, a little piece of journaling paper. This is um, Photoshop Elements 9 that I'm using. It'll also work in earlier versions of Elements. If you're a Photoshop CS user, you'll want to check out my other video as the settings are located somewhere else. Um, so as you can see, I have created a 12 by 12 document, 300 DPI, threw in a blue paper from my Little Prince mini kit just for some contrast. And then this journal paper is also from that same mini kit. So I'm going to go ahead and drag out a text box just with my text tool over here. Or you can hit T on the keyboard. And then I'm going to type in some text. My little boy is the most amazing little boy ever. Okay. <clears throat> then I'm going to go ahead and copy that text and paste it a few times. So we can see it showing up here and it's not matching the lines very well. I want a different font, so I'm going to go select that. I'm going to use P. Laura, which is from KevinAndAmanda.com. And then I've got my document set at 25% zoom. It's a good percentage to be at if you want to see what your layout's going to look like when it prints. I find it especially useful for text. That's a little bit smaller than I want my text to be when it prints. So I'm going to change the size to 14 points. And then let me zoom in and you can see that we're matching the lines a little bit, but as we get further down, we're starting to write on top of these blue lines, which isn't exactly how I want it to look. So with the text layer selected, you just go to this option up here where it's showing that you the spacing between those two letters. It's set for auto. Let's go ahead and change it to 18 and you can see how this moves ever so slightly. But as you move further down on the lines, you can see that you're ending up writing right on that blue line. So 18 is too much. If we go to 14, it's too little because now we're coming up and hitting some lines. So all you do is you sit, you can play, um, with the numbers they have here. Obviously I've only got 14 and 18, but I can select this and choose say 15 for example. You can always grab the move tool and adjust that top line so it fits better and then just take a look down the other lines and it looks like 15 is going to be pretty close for us. So that is how you adjust the letting or line spacing between your text so that it matches the lines on a journal strip. If you have any questions, you can email me, suzyqscraps at gmail.com or visit my website, suzyqscraps.com. Thanks.